Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The most important milestone of being an adult is independence from your parents. That means finding a job, a place to live, and possibly finding a spouse or a partner and starting your own family. Helicopter parents is a term that's used to describe parents who are overly clingy or overly influenced in their child's life. Helicopter parents are uncontrollable and they do not give their child enough room to grow or enough space to develop their own independence. Helicopter parents are also notorious for being privacy invaders, and they can also be dangerously controlling as well. You're just jealous that Brenna's had a better season than Kendall. A lot of this is done because they want their kids to be successful, but oftentimes they do this to cover up their own failed dreams and aspirations. These parents love to live vicariously through their kids. But the truth is, there is definitely a thin line between a caring and involved parent versus a helicopter parent. Today, we will do a deep dive into Jeanette McGurdy's child star background and how being forced into fame by her mother still affects her to this day. Before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below. Jeanette McGurdy's memoirs, I'm Glad My Mom Died, share details of her toxic relationship with her mother. Fueled by her mother's need for control, in a hilarious yet heartbreaking book, Jeanette reveals that she never wanted to be a child star. It was pushed onto her by her controlling mother. Her mother, Deborah McGurdy, passed away from cancer in 2013. And well, the title of the book says it all. Jeanette was glad and revealed that her mom died. Jeanette McGurdy was born on June 26, 1992, in Los Angeles, California. She was born to Deborah and Mark McGurdy, although later on in life she would find out that Mark was not her biological father. She grew up in a small house in Orange County, California, with her three older brothers and was homeschooled. Her mother had wished to be an actress and passed her unfulfilled ambitions onto her daughter. Deborah controlled every aspect of Jeanette's life well into her teens. She would choose what roles Jeanette took on, what she ate, and even insisted that she bathed and shaved her daughter. After Deborah was diagnosed with breast cancer, she began performing vaginal and breast inspections upon Jeanette in order to check for cancerous lumps. In her memoir, Jeanette states that she did not realize until later how wrong this was and how her mother was essentially conditioning and grooming her. More instances of abuse showed up in how Jeanette built relationships with food. From the age of 11, her mother had taught her to calorie count in order to stay slim. As Jeanette matured into her teen years, simple calorie counting would develop into anorexia and bulimia. At one point, Jeanette's eating disorders caused her to lose a tooth in an airplane bathroom. Jeanette was always afraid of her mother, wondering if her mother would be in a good mood or a bad mood on any particular day. It seems that Deborah's emotions and moods were unstable, and those around her, including her children, often suffered the consequences. Her kids, especially Jeanette, were always concerned about keeping their mother happy because it kept her off their backs. This abusive relationship dynamic only heightened during the peak of Jeanette's acting career. As Jeanette's career skyrocketed during iCarly, she would have to face yet another abusive figure in her life. Dubbed the creator in her book, Jeanette reveals the abuse that she faced on set. Although not confirmed, the creator is heavily thought to be Dan Schneider, the man who created many Nickelodeon shows. The creator was cruel, controlling, and terrifying, firing children for minor infractions, making grown men and women cry with his insults and degradation. His intermittent praises, like her mother's, was tinged with strings and fear. Tomorrow he might scream insults in my face that will hurt me just as much as compliment and uplift me, Jeanette wrote in her book. And as Jeanette battled her demons with her mother and her boss, she also battled demons within herself. The character of Sam Puckett was known to be loud, abrasive, obsessed with food. Jeanette explains that she struggled with filming sometimes because she felt like her character was always eating. And when fans would spot Sam in real life, they would gift her with snowballs or ask her where the turkey leg was. They did not know what I was struggling with. 
but it felt like people were just poking directly at every fucking insecurity, every trauma that I had. It was like twisting a knife inside my heart. After iCarly ended, Jeanette and Ariana Grande both signed a deal to start a new spinoff show, Sam and Cat. In her book, Jeanette very bluntly expressed that she was jealous of Grande. While Jeanette proclaimed that she had a sister-like bond with the iCarly co-star, Miranda Cosgrove, there was no connection with Ariana Grande. During this time, Ariana's singing career began to take off, and Jeanette felt like she was the only one pulling her weight. Ariana was allowed to miss important filming days to perform her music, while Jeanette could not get any time off. Luckily for Jeanette, the show was canceled after only 36 episodes. When the show was officially over, Jeanette said that Nickelodeon offered her $300,000 as thank you money, but that is not what it was at all. It was money to keep her from talking about her experiences with the network and more specifically the creator. Jeanette expressed in her book that she was extremely glad that she did not take the money. I'm glad I didn't because I was able to talk about it and I don't have to have that secret haunt me. Let's talk about what happened in Nickelodeon uh, with this person you call the creator. You say the network offered you $300,000 in hush money? <laughs> I have seen some of these headlines. I've seen a lot of headlines uh, about the book and I'm really glad that the book's receiving a lot of attention. That's, that's awesome, that's wonderful. Um, what I will say is that the book is so much more than that. My book is so much more it cannot be reduced to a headline. My life nor this book can be reduced to a headline. But they did offer you the money and you did turn it down? I have said everything that I want to say about that in the book. I hope people, you know what, I hope that anybody whose attention might be piqued by these headlines will, will, will consider reading the book because I've said everything in as articulate and thoughtful of a way as I can manage in that book. I took a year and a half writing it. I did 12 drafts. Um, my editor, Sean, knows this very well. He knows this very intimately. He knows how, how hard I worked on this, and he was, he was very instrumental as well. But, um, but I said everything that I wanted to say there. In 2013, Deborah McGurdy passed away from cancer after a long battle. She realized that even though her mom was gone, she was still living in a way that she would if her mom was still here. However, her mom's death led her to admit herself into intensive therapy, as well as eating disorder recovery. During this time, Jeanette followed her own dreams and stepped back from acting completely. Coming to terms with the reality of what my life had been was not simple. It was not painless. It was through consistent work and exploration that I began freeing and healing, says Jeanette. And a couple years ago, when her old iCarly stars reached out to her in regards of doing an iCarly reboot, Jeanette did not have to think twice before telling them no. Although she was grateful for the financial stability that her career had given her, she knew that going back to a time in her life where she did not want to be would only halt her growth. Even though her mother's nagging voice can still be heard in the back of her head, Jeanette does not worry about what her mother would say now, what food is on her plate, what clothes are on her body. These are things that Jeanette can now choose for herself, a choice that she did not have while her mother was alive. Although Jeanette only knew chaos for the first 20 plus years of her life, it seems like now she's in a better place, both physically and mentally. Although some may have strong opinions about her book title, the rawness and the realness of it is what makes it so relatable. It makes us realize that these child stars are people just like us, and unfortunately they are taken advantage of way too often. Jeanette's background and new book gives people in similar situations the courage and the bravery to step up and use their voice. Other Nickelodeon stars like Danielle Monet have decided to speak up about the creator, aka Dan Schneider. So that concludes today's video, and I just think the whole situation with Jeanette McGurdy is definitely sad. She was definitely groomed and went through a lot by the hands of her mother. At first, the title kind of shocked me and I didn't get it. I thought it was just disgusting and for shock value. But the more I read up on her story, that title is definitely fitting. And sometimes we don't find our freedom until those closest to us end up passing away. So what do you guys think about the whole Jeanette McGurdy situation, her memoir, her story? How do you guys feel about the abuse that she faced at the hands of her mother and those who were supposed to protect her, like the staff that was on set of Nickelodeon? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys like the video, share the video, and last but not least, make sure you still subscribe to this channel, and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with